Live streaming is gaining popularity fast. Just like the early days of YouTube, live streaming is a cool, unsaturated and very profitable market. People of all ages can make thousands of dollars each month streaming themselves and their daily lives. While many would question the social consequences of live streaming, it will be difficult to stop this trend. First of all, live video is already adopted by hundreds of millions of internet users in the form of Snapchat or Instagram stories. Second of all, there exists a huge demand for unfiltered, unedited and authentic content. Third of all, like many forms of social media, live streaming has technology on its side. All you really need to set up a live streaming session is a mobile device, mobile data and a live streaming app of your choice. Likewise, viewers can easily watch, share and pay for live stream content through their mobile phones. These elements, together with the huge profitability of the so-called virtual gift economy, are at the base of live streaming's quick surge in popularity. Before delving into the business of video live streaming, let me uncover a little piece of live streaming history. The first concert ever performed live on the internet was by a little-known band called Severe Tire Damage on November 18, 1994, just minutes before the Rolling Stones took a shot at live streaming their concert for the first time. Live rock concert on the global computer internet. The software used was called the Ambone, which enables multicasting of audio, video, and text via the internet. Multicasting is similar to TV broadcasting, where one package of information is sent to multiple destinations and the user decides whether to pick up on that information. Since these early experiments, the technology behind live broadcasting has improved exponentially. Today, live streaming audiences consist of millions, if not billions, of users spread over different live streaming platforms all over the world. Here are some rough estimates of monthly active users for popular live streaming platforms. Quick disclaimer, exact and up-to-date statistics are hard to come by, as some platforms mentioned have live video streaming as one part of their total service offering. Some of this data is based on a SurveyMonkey intelligence report of December 2016. To give you a better idea of the sheer size of this industry, consider that total sales in the Chinese live streaming industry alone were estimated at $3 billion in 2016 and this number is expected to double in 2017. Most of this revenue comes from virtual gifting, a business model common to many live streaming apps such as Lively, YouTube Super Chat, Twitch, Douyu. It works as follows. Users purchase a supply of special in-app currency called coins in LiveMe for example through the App Store or Google Play with real money. With this special in-app currency they can buy virtual gifts like snowmen, sports cars or cruise ships. These gifts range from 1 cent to $100 or more. During a live video session, viewers can send these virtual gifts to their favorite broadcasters through the interactive chat function. In YouTube Super Chat, viewers can also pay to feature their chat message for a longer time at, on top of the chat box. The monetary value of these virtual gifts is then added up and split between the broadcaster, the live stream platform and the payment platform. The broadcaster can then choose to cash out his or her earnings or convert it back to in-app currency. Considering the quick rise in live streaming activities since 2015, is the hype coming to an end anytime soon? It looks like it might actually, with Chinese regulators already cracking down on the industry by shutting down a number of platforms and censoring certain live performances. Unfortunately, this creates the perverse effect that the industry is further monopolized by a few platforms who play by the rules. As with any form of internet regulation, it runs the risk to undemocratize the internet to the detriment of many small and traditional creators. On the flip side, a regulated landscape forces creators to rethink their strategy and hopefully focus on delivering sustainable, high quality content rather than quick monetization. As the live streaming industry matures, new business models will most certainly develop. I can well imagine more applications of split-screen live streaming, scripted shows, live streaming plugin for TVs, etc. Do you have any thoughts about what the future of live streaming might hold? Leave a comment down below, I would love to chat about it. Thank you so much for watching this video essay and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!